Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. So here's a great tech tip for you. A lot of you may want to ask, hey, I have this neat little button on my truck that says tow haul. The question is, should I actually employ that, turn that on all the time? But wait, I'm not going to answer that. I'm going to go ahead and bring on a special guest. Are you ready? Here we got Mark. I'm supposed to answer the question? Yeah, I think so. I thought so. you were going to answer good the question. I thought good. I was going to come up with the question oh, okay. and you were going to answer it. But I have a couple tips, but sure. I'd like to hear your thoughts too. Okay, when I when I tow, <laughs> I turn mine on. I turn mine on <laughs> too. What, it's as simple as that. It is. I <laughs> turn it off when I'm not towing. <laughs> so well, that's what really, I was like, ooh, am I doing You've really just shot right to the punchline yeah, on that, so. have you? But I tell you what, we've uh, a lot of people know if they follow KYD, we've had an F, we started towing an F-150. Right. We moved to an F-250, had an F-450. Now we're back to a 250. Right. And so because we did that transition from an F-150 to 250, we get this question a lot. And I also get, if there's a follow-up question, how, is this two minutes? Two minutes no. only? <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. Uh, that's the whole, the whole concept here is answer it in two minutes, is right. also cruise control. So maybe a little bonus question is cruise control. Yeah, that's a right. difficult one. There's, there's the part of me that is guilty that I want, you know, want to, but mm -hmm. oh, I'm not sure that it's good. Yeah. So no, you're right. I always tow with the tow haul button on, but I think it could be a little bit more complicated than that. I have heard it obviously uh, it changes the engine braking, so it yes. slows you down and you come up to a stop, right? Right. Um, but I've also heard it could do other things in the engine, like tow haul does more than just change the shifting. Tow haul mode feature, which enhances control when hauling a trailer up and down steep grades, and augments transmission operation when towing a heavy load. So it just depends on the type of truck and how they set up, where Ford may uh, do it just a little bit different than, little say, bit better, Ram maybe. or something. Yeah, because I always, you know, you have a truck <laughs> or you have a Ram, that's mm -hmm. what I say. <laughs> So um, under four, they you know you have your tow haul, but you also have another uh, feature on there, and I think this is kind of what you're bringing up. You're talking about that engine brake, mm -hmm. right? And now it'll automatically put an engine brake on there. And with the Ford, whenever you tap on, you know uh, you have the tow haul on, you tap on the brakes, it's going to go ahead and begin to shift down for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but you also have an engine brake that will do that as well. And you have several different functions on there. You can go full auto. You can do it by just with the brake, or you can mm -hmm. simply turn it off. So, me, I prefer that, I hate, the one thing about towing is, is, is just like anything else, the, the hardest part is you finally get a good speed and you gotta let off the gas yep. just a little bit, mm -hmm. right? And if you have that engine brake on, or if, you're, if it's a full auto on your uh, tow haul, then as soon as you let off the gas, I mean, it's gearing down, mm -hmm. you know? So, yep. I don't like that uh, function there. What I do is I just go ahead and switch it over to just the braking only so I can still coast but once I hit my brakes, then it will gear down for Oh, me. interesting, and that's so. a, a setting that you can change yeah. in on your dash. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you, yeah. if you hit the button several times, you either got four. All right, let's talk about some tow haul myths. Okay. I've heard, I've, I've verified this, I don't know if you know, I've heard that sometimes with tow haul on, it'll change the amperage sending back through the seven way. You think that's a myth? I have not heard that. I've heard I, that. That's what I'm saying. It, it, I it could does... confirm it or deny it, one of the two. So we'll test it. Okay. Yeah. How about that? So, we can, so it's turned into the Mythbusters. Right. Okay. And now I get a lot of questions about cruise control. And you know what's interesting? With an F-150, and we were towing about mm, maybe 8,000 pounds or so, man, I would never do cruise control because right. you know cruise control just tries to keep, keep you at that 55, and you go up the slightest grade, and the RPMs fly up to 4,000. Right. I hated that. But with a diesel, it's like magic right because right. the diesel just doesn't downshift and you go up those big grades and you stay 55 the rpms are at 2100 and life is good so i right. use cruise control all the time with the diesel with the diesel the only problem is a certain you know right between your you know your second to last and last gear it, it, it inevitably is always around cruising speed mm -hmm. so 64 or something like that you're sitting there and you're at 4000 rpms because it's just mm -hmm. not enough speed to get you over in the fifth and that's where you either got to you know lower your speed or increase your speed, and I think it's a lot of people do is they just yeah. tap it a couple more times so they can go ahead and get that last yeah. gear in there. And I think for me, I don't use cruise control if I am gearing up, right? If I'm not until I reach my speed. So if I'm cruising 55, then I would hit it gotcha. you know, 65. And then of course, depending on your trim package, there's adaptive cruise control, which right. uh, we use sometimes if we're out in like flatlands or something. The problem with that is you can get stuck behind a semi truck. And you could be going like an hour, 55 miles per hour, and not really, you know, wake up and go, oh, geez, I'm going I'm, like, you know. Yeah, I'm not at this point where I prefer it because of mm -hmm, that right there. Mm -hmm. It makes you lazy, mm -hmm. and then it barks at you yeah. <laughs> when you're not looking, right? All right, well, you have tapped so. my knowledge on everything I know yeah, that's, on, that's on tow haul and, and cruise control, and I, and I couldn't even do it in two minutes. So bottom line, when you're towing, just hit that little button so tow haul's on, and when you're not, 
turn it off. Turn it off. If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, or let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs, and get started today. Ah, oh, 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 oh good question. Yeah, I like what? that. So what are we talking about again? Tow haul? And that's not it at all. How do I set up my tow? How do I set up my haul? Because we put it together, we get tow haul. You know, so you want me to say it? Sure. Oh, wow. So I just pop in? Yeah, you just kind of pop in. Yeah, all right. And do it again. So bottom line, when you're towing, hit the little button so that you get the little... Wait, all right. <laughs> I can you, feel, feel the, the intelligence. <laughs> um, I got this one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, joking. <laughs> yeah. Man, you look so smart. Thank you. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, wise. You mean wise. Yeah. Wise. Yes. That's right. Looks like you lost your pot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone seen my gold? 